With a pan like this, you have to scrub it clean, get rid of as much of the gunk as you can, uh, rust and whatever. This has been a little maltreated. And this new one, uh, you have to wash when you bring it home from the store in hot, soapy water. So we'll do both of these. And notice what I've done in the sink. I've lined the sink with towels just to keep the sink from scratching. You can use a Brillo pad like this that has soap in it. But this is pretty gunky. And you should wash the inside and the outside of the pan. Yeah, this one obviously was put away when it was still a little bit wet. So you get all that rust out. I'm even scrubbing the handle and the inside and outside of the pan. There, so. And use hot water to get off all that residue of soap. Once you do this and get the pan really seasoned, you're never ever going to use soap on it again. And you want to dry this completely. So take your solid shortening, and the manufacturers of these pans recommend that you use a solid shortening. Uh, it doesn't seem to make the surface sticky as a liquid corn oil or olive oil would. Do the inside and the outside, because you don't want any of that rust. Okay, so this one's ready to get into the oven. And now we'll just do the same thing to the brand new pan. It's hard to believe that this gray cast iron is going to get to be that beautiful, lustrous black, but it will. So now this will go into the oven too. And the pans should be placed upside down on the aluminum covered cookie sheet, just like that, preheated to 350 degrees. And just leave those in for an hour or so. You can leave them in for a couple hours if you like. Turn the oven off and let them remain until the oven is cool. And then you will have the beginnings of the well-seasoned pan like this one. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Crisco and just rub it in here. Cast iron will last a whole lifetime with the proper care, and it can be used on the stove, it can be used in the oven, it can be used at the campfire, and this whole process of seasoning is of immense importance to smooth that surface uh, and get this ready for cooking. When you're gonna wash a used pan, just rinse it in real, real hot water and dry it right on the stove so it won't rust again. And don't ever store your pans with the lids on if they have lids. The moisture in the air might become trapped causing the skillet to rust. So to continue to season your pans, especially when they're brand new, you can just cook high fat content foods such as bacon, fried chicken in the skillet and it'll get better and better and help strengthen your seasoning. And just remember, if you weren't lucky enough to inherit your grandmother's skillet, you can create one of your own. A well-seasoned cast iron skillet, grandma knew it was a good thing. pan like this, you have to scrub it clean, get rid of as much of the gunk as you can, uh, rust and whatever. This has been a little maltreated. And this new one, uh, you have to wash when you bring it home from the store in hot, soapy water. So we'll do both of these. And notice what I've done in the sink. I've lined the sink with towels just to keep the sink from scratching.